Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Pearl Fontaine. And I'm Jana Hector. Thank you for joining us. In the headlines, several pastors to speak at the People's Pentecostal Family Church this week. And we'll show you snippets of performances at the 16th edition of the World Creole Music Festival. Stay with us as we bring you details of these stories and more when National Focus returns. Welcome back. Time for the news. Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences at the Dominique State College, Nurse Denise Edwards, expects big things from the college within the next 50 years. Nurse Edwards was speaking on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of nursing education at the Dominique State College. For starters, says Edwards, the most qualified members of the Health Sciences faculty are trained at a master's degree level. Edwards is sure that all of that will change soon. Currently, we have a faculty that's 100% Dominicans, all trained at a master's level. In 50 years, I would expect that whoever is sitting in this chair will be saying everybody's trained at a PhD level. I'm calling my young colleagues to see who will be the first to get their PhD and work in Dominica. Yes, we have three persons with PhD graduates, however, none of them currently work in Dominica. But I expect that in 50 years, that's one of the things. Everybody who is trained will be at a master, at a PhD level. Also, Nurse Edwards foresees additional postgraduate programs being offered in addition to midwifery. Entry level into nursing is now a Bachelor of Science degree. We graduated, as you know, our first Bachelor of Nurses last week. We cannot have them coming back at a lower level, so we need to bring up the midwifery. And we are pleased that a member of our staff already has her master's in midwifery, so she is positioned to make the changes in the curriculum to offer the midwifery at a higher level. But we recognize that midwifery is not the only specialty you need. And since we have the mandate to provide quality nursing care through the education that we give, we need to have specialist programs in medical nursing, in neonatology nursing, in everything from zero to the grave. And I see us at Health Sciences being able to do that. The Dean says the Faculty of Health Sciences at the Dominica State College is not only focusing on nursing. However, it is already making strides to excel long before the next Jubilee. We are not limiting our focus to nursing. The next Jubilee will not be a nursing education. It will be a health sciences education. We have trained one cohort of people in environmental health. The second cohort is currently in class. We have begun training of the associate degree in pharmacy. So these in 50 years will be graduates. We will never know where they'll be. Um, within the next few years, we'll be offering the associate degree for people wanting to do the program for to become lab technicians. So we have, this horizon is large and we expect to lead in terms of Dominica State College, we are the senior partners and we will continue to lead. The college will be hosting a week of activities this week to commemorate their nursing education jubilee, including a movie night and an awards dinner. Dominica's 16th World Creole Music Festival was held last weekend before huge crowds of locals, visitors and Dominicans living overseas. Patrons were treated to performances from local rising talents like contestants from the Dom Festa Song Competition, Kada Slipso Competition winners, Colton T, Asher Thomas, Shamika Sorendo, and Chad Astafan. Other local performers included Midnight Groovers, Ophelia Marie, Gramax International, and Derek Ra Peters, among many others. Thousands filled the Windsor Park Stadium to witness acts from Crossfire, Onion, one time a lead singer of The Burning Flames, 17 Plus, Disip Gasman, Taras Riley, and Damien Julia Gong Mali out of Jamaica. Here are a few scenes from the event. <laughs>
So, Jana, great things coming out of this year's World Creole Music Festival. I mean, 16 years, Sweet 16, that's an awesome achievement for Dominica, the Dominica Festivals Committee, you know, as well. They've done a really great job thus far. And one of the things that I really want to commend them on is lowering the price the first night of the show. I mean, it gave Dominicans an opportunity to you know, witness and experience the festival, some for the first time. You're right. Um, based on the crowds that we saw, Pearl, everybody took advantage of that. There was a lot of comment when that was announced, but it seems a lot of people appreciated it. And it also made me think that a lot of people work together to make this festival huge. And if Jeff Joe was alive, I'm sure he would be very, very proud to see what it has become this year. I, I do agree with you. And also, you know, people were excited about, you know, the lineup as well. I think the lineup was actually really great. You know, every night you had a, a bit of Zook, Kada, Slipso, um, Bouillon, and then you had a little bit of reggae, which was fantastic. You know, what I really appreciate is that there are cultural performances in between acts. It, it, it keeps it at home. It still says that this belongs to us, and no matter how big it gets, it will still be Dominica's Creole Festival. I agree. World Creole Music Festival 2012 was dedicated to the memory of Jeff Joseph, one of the Kana Slipso pioneers. In other news, everything local and cultural was on display at Rozo's Market Day with a difference last Saturday. And a colorful crowd turned up to sample the fair. President of Dominica, His Excellency Iliud Williams, Acting Prime Minister Honorable Ambrose George, MP for Rozo Central Honorable Norris Prevo, Acting Minister for Trade Honorable Alvin Bernard, Speaker of the House of Assembly Honorable Alex Boyd Knight, Bishop Gabriel Malzer, and many other government government officials attended. Acting Prime Minister Honorable Ambrose George was the featured speaker and his address was one of encouragement despite the global issues affecting the island's growth. Honorable George said that if every citizen works together, much can be achieved. I do not have to remind you of the global financial and economic situation that is making it extremely difficult for developing countries to address the urgent problems of job creation and the poverty alleviation. In addition to the prevailing socio-economic environment, we have been visited by a number of diseases that threaten the agricultural base of the economy and the livelihoods of many of our citizens. But we will not be daunted. With the help of the Almighty, we will face every challenge with all the energy that we possess. We are prepared to provide the leadership and political commitment to move ahead. But moving ahead requires the collective energies of everyone. Acting Trade Minister Honorable Alvin Bernard says Market Day with the Difference is a day to pay homage to the people who work together at the market and nationwide for the upkeep of Dominica. The purpose of today's activity is to salute farmers, vendors, customers, cleaners, shopkeepers, and all persons who are directly or indirectly associated with the daily life of the Rosa Market for your outstanding effort to improve your personal development and that of your family, your community, and your country. Therefore, I think it is a fitting occasion to extend on behalf of myself, my family, and the government of Dominica. Congratulations to all citizens of our beloved country on the occasion of the achievement of 34 years of political independence, 34 years of nation building. I believe that we all have to be grateful for the contributions of our citizens through their respective vocations, students, doctors, nurses, teachers, the police, fire and emergency, the state prison, business, sanitary workers, tradesmen, farmers, vendors and artists, the elderly, adults, youth, children, 
and our indigenous Kalinago people. Deputy Chairman of Dexia, McCarthy Marie, was tasked with welcoming guests to Market Day with a Difference. He spoke of efforts to improve and sustain the cultural contribution of the Rosa Market to Dominica's landscape and urged patrons to support local. Also at the Market Day ceremony were musical performances, a folk story from master storyteller Lawrence Brumant, and awards to outstanding vendors. Well, as I welcome you, let me encourage you when we are finished with this official ceremony to interact with our farmers and the market vendors who today are decked out in their Creole finery and who are waiting to interact with you to let you know what the difficulties are, what the hopes for the future will be as well. And we hope that although you didn't come with your shopping basket, you will buy a basket so that you can take home some of the goodies that are at the market right away and with which you will be supporting the farmers immediately and our craftspersons who have baskets and other similar items for sale in the market today. Also at the market day ceremony were musical performances, a folk story from master storyteller Lawrence Brumant and awards to outstanding vendors. That was the People's Pentecostal Family Church Choir ministering to the congregation at the commencement of their praise festival in Goodwill on Sunday. The night was chaired by Brother Bernard Etinoff, a member of the church board of directors. Pastor Ninian St. Louis said a special prayer in recognition of the praise festival in the midst of Dominica's 34th independence. Our Father and our God, we thank you another time to bring us together another year for Praise Festival. As we celebrate the 34th anniversary of our independence, we want to thank you for taking us thus far. And we believe as a church, the body of Christ, you will take us, O oh God, to the end. We pause tonight to say thank you for what you have done Thank you for what you were doing, and thank you for what you will do. The celebration will continue over the next few days until Friday. And that's the English segment of the news. We now join Marcus in St. Louis for the Creole Highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à cette nouvelle en Creole. Non moins, c'est Marcus in St. Louis. Premièrement, journée de voie pour que célébrer en Dominique, mercredi semaine salam. Division Colté qui a organisé l'activité salam. Monsieur Gregory Rabes, c'est officier de division Colté Dominique. Journée de voie pour Dominique, en uh, anglais, Flag Day. Ça uh, a pris place mercredi en semaine salam. Et puis, journée de voie pour, uh, c'est une journée là. Division Kiltia qui a mis en force, qui a demandé à tout pour mettre en force à sous Dwapo Dominique, José Dwapo Dominique. Vous savez, euh, mettez Dwapo à tous les côtés, de Dwapo à l'office, et c'est pas comme ça. Et en un genre pour, vous savez, faire le monde, oui, vous comprenez, Dwapo, c'est un symbole. Nation là, c'est un symbole pays d'homme quoi. C'est doit pour là qui symbole nous. C'est assez on on marque d'identité nationalité nous en Dominique. C'est pour ça nous nous mettez en journée chaque période fête indépendance uh, pour honorer glorifier uh, doit pour là. D'autres activités pour célébration indépendance c'est rally jeunesse, parade nationale et puis gala. It fish day, Creole in the North, et puis journée service national. 
Pendant la nouvelle, le ministère et puis responsabilité télécommunication pays OECS, d'accord pour travail qui était en seule organisation télécoms en ces pays-là. Bagay Sala sorti laisse ministre Ekte la, te jouen en antique pi bonne moi Sala. Yo si yon wangement et pi antique tape certain priorité et pi Ektel. Tiaman ministre Ektel, senator James Fletcher, hot sent li sing, fe pa wol ki deklawasyon Sala se on pa pli pwe bwanche antique et pi Montserrat en Ektel. Gouvelman antique ou si fe pa wol kouman yo bien plezi pou developman Sala. Se ministre la ou si dako a si on bodjet sa se zafè la jan pou ek tel kou e zafè ya yo l'ane 2013. Ministre Telecoms Dominique Honorable Ambrose George wabwizante Dominique an mitin sala. An dot nouvel asosyasyon nos Dominique Katchen on si men aktivite e pi divers bagay. Pa wal sala sote yot chef departman Santé State College Dominique nos Dennis Edwards. C'est mes activités là qui commencé dimanche qui a fini et puis on la mis à Goodwill, à la mis à l'église catholique à Goodwill, toutes nos dominiques, nous invitons pour venir là. Madi, Lady, Lady nous n'y fait la bonne. Avant ma tête là, à All Saints. Et puis All Saints, c'est un bon place pour nous. Puis où ça, c'est là, il y a eu le Rose Health Center avant. C'est nous là qui a venu descendre. Nous avons même travaillé là, à l'heure passée. Les soins, les dés faits, nous avons ouvert une formelle cérémonie pour ouvrir la semaine, ça là. Et puis nous avons battu à mon magazine, un livre que nous faisons, espoir pour célébrer ça là, nous avons lancé ça là. Je dis, Madi mercredi et puis jeudi, c'est au nous avons mené nos nouvelles à l'école. Nous avons mis en conférence et puis bagay cot nos. Oui nous allons à l'école mais bagay toujours à charger et puis nous voulons tout le temps mon qui sortit à l'école nous bah bon aussi pas sur à ces mon là qui malade. Donc nous avons trois jours pour ça. Les gens qui ont présenté, c'est les gens qui sont sortis, qui ont gradué de l'école. Les gens qui ont été docteurs, ils ne sont pas là, mais ils sont allés à l'école tellement. Actuellement, ils sont docteurs. Donc, c'est les gens qui ont présenté les différents choses. Et puis finalement, le management transnational White Kouboulin a organisé une exposition en l'occasion de l'Ayo en Pankassin. Exposition qui a pris en place de l'Ayo en Pankassin. Et puis, il a formé par la célébration indépendante en bas de l'Ayo. Partnering for Further Progress and Development. Exposition Sala qui mette attention au travail local et puis bagay promotion héritage Dominique et puis développement. On se remonte pour ouvrir exposition Sala qui commence à 9h et 10h le bon matin, mercredi semaine Sala en l'occasion à you en pont cassé. Mais mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en créole. Pour à présent, non moins c'est McPherson saint louis I swear to tout le monde en bon saison en dépendant. Au revoir. Up next is the tip of the day. Our tip today talks about one way you can make yourself happy. Be who you are. The summit of happiness is reached when a person is ready to be what he is. You can only be happy if you become who you are. Don't live other people's lives by trying to meet their expectations. People may expect you to have a certain job or certain way of living, but don't be intimidated by what they expect. Find who you are and be yourself. And that's National Focus. As usual, we invite your suggestions or comments. Please feel free to drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or you can visit our website at news.gov.dm. Or you could visit our GIS Dominica pages on both YouTube and Facebook. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Jana Hector. And I'm Pearl Fontaine. Thanks for watching.